Hey. Jamar Johnson, I'll say Nazrul Dean from Florida State. Nazrul Dean. And Nixon from Iowa. Jamar Why, Johnson. Why Marvin Wilson. Come on. D-tackle Florida State. Let's go. Cowboys select Josh Ball, offensive tackle, Marshall University. All right. Oh, Not the guy we were talking go. about, but the position. That was my highest rated offensive tackle on my board left. So Josh Ball is a top 100 talent. Nice. Uh, if no issues, we're talking about maybe a second round pick. Okay, so what are the issues? Are? Yeah, well, I don't know no offense. Domestic, domestic related. Oh. Uh, it's, domestic. You know, had some issues at Florida State, goes to Marshall, and, you know, he. It, some stuff with a you know ex girlfriend that type of thing uh, and type of guy you have to do your homework on and so you know we're gonna assume here that the Cowboys did their homework on this guy uh, oh, because did. as JB. a talent he's there I'm look at uh, just, I like he, it's a complicated conversation when we talk about off the field started at Florida State went to Butler Community College which is in the Kansas area right yeah, yes, oh no Josh so no, like Butler that. Community College listed at 350 for his playing weight overall Brian really quickly it's give me a quick scouting report that was his playing weight now he's back down to 308 which is something impressive yeah Dane's right about this guy this guy's got no wasted motion though when he plays or ducking his head if the dinder, if the defender tries to move him he's able to adjust without any problems he's he's quick he can adjust. He plays in space easily. He's not stressed out one bit in the way he plays when you watch him. He's got great patience as a pass blocker. He gets movement in the running game to his, to his athletic ability. He does a great job staying after his blocker. He stays engaged. He's got awareness. He knows what's going on around him. He can pass stunts. He can locate his man no problem. I just felt like he needed more, a little bit more bulk and a little bit more strength, but I don't think that's a problem with his frame. I know it's a 6'7 frame. But I have a feeling he'll be able to add some weight and uh, and do that. But I love how smooth and fluid he is as a player. So first offensive player for the Cowboys taken in this year's draft. We'll learn more about Josh Ball and look ahead to where the Cowboys select. The only person Ball I know is uh, the Ball brothers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Is that LeVar Ball, man? Who, is he related to those balls, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Um, is he Alonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball? He part of the Ball family. <laughs> That's the only ball I know, man. So I, I, I'm like, ah, y'all heard me? I'm like, ah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness we switching gears that's that what got him in trouble with uh with molly right we switching gears how dare how dare he say we switching gears hey dude they looking at you like that and they they got that man out of there right Remember, he used to go on that, that that fake show, and they used to go back and forth. And he said, let's switch gears. And he got in trouble, trouble. They got him up off of that fake show real quick. Uh, uh, no, no, nobody looking at him. You know, Molly, she's a pretty lady. Don't get it twisted. But come on, man. He wasn't even talking about that. You know, but I feel, I feel like he was making a move at me. <laughs> I, I feel, no, no. He's he made it, he's bad in his eye, you know. <laughs> Lavar Ball, this is his outside child, right? <laughs> but he's what six foot seven, three hundred and eight pounds. That's a big boy. Uh, that, now he's gonna play tackle. He's gonna ro rotate in as a tackle position. Maybe he could be a uh, swing tackle in development there. Uh, my thing is you can never have too many offensive linemen, right? Because you never know when you you don't want them until you need them. Josh, Jerry Jones with the Cowboys. Yes, sir. Yes, Listen, sir. I wanted to call you. We've just turned your card in. Yes, sir. I'm oh, ready to work. This. Well, I'll tell you this. I'm proud uh, for you. We've had a lot of discussion, and the uh, big thing is you got a lot of support here. We're excited about having you on our team, and, uh, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, uh, you've got the tools. You can have a great career here, and I can get to be a part of something special with you involved. Yes, sir. I'm ready. I'm ready to get down there and get to work. I'm ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I going to hand it. you to Coach Mike McCarthy, your head coach here. Come on. Yes, sir. Josh, Mike McCarthy. Coach congr McCarthy. Hey, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Are you excited? 
Oh my God, I'm I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go to work. Go. All right, awesome. Hey, this is a great moment for you and your friends and family. So enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you on the 14th. Really looking yes, forward sir, to working with you, good. young man. I'm ready to go, coach. All right, partner. What an what an amazing opportunity. Uh, can't wait to be down there in Frisco and just be a part of the uh, Dallas Cowboys organization. And it's it's just a blessing. And uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to get to work. Come on. Hey, Josh, you know, you're sitting here watching your name come off. The the scouting report on you is, you know, the natural talent to have maybe gone yesterday uh, mm-hmm. higher in the draft, and and maybe it's more. Um, issues with your time at Florida State that led to you falling today. I'm just curious what this draft process has been like to, uh, for you and, and what your conversations have been like with NFL teams and, and with the Cowboys uh, to help teams get a handle on all that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the past is the past. It's over with and done with. Everybody's moved on. Um, and, and I don't really have a comment about that. It's just uh, it's just a lot, uh, you know, about getting to know me as a as a person and getting getting to know my uh, mental side on, on the ball stuff and uh, – just seeing how my mind works uh, with, with, with the protections, run game, and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and just kind of running that through my head and seeing how I work and put things together. So, uh, you know, that's how most of these calls went, especially with the Cowboys. And, uh, yeah, that's... What, uh, and, you know, you, you mentioned calls with the Cowboys. What, what's this process been like with Dallas? Uh, have you had a chance to talk to, to Joe Philbin? Or just what, what has this process been like for you uh, with Dallas? Did you, did you have an inkling they might have an interest? Right. So, yeah, I had a Zoom with uh, Coach Feldman, and uh, we went over some stuff, went some uh, some passing stuff and, and run run game stuff as well. Right. And uh, we, we went over some things, and, uh, you know, I, 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 did, I was thinking, uh, you know, I was going to be a Dallas Cowboy today uh, about around 1.30, and I got the call. And, uh, yeah, I talked to Coach Feldman, and they're fired up to get me down there. Some things I definitely got to work on before I get there. Okay. And, uh, you know, and take – just get down there in Dallas and uh, work on some things to be a better football player. So, what kind of gave you that inkling? Any kind of indication there as to to where you were going to fall with the Cowboys? Honestly, no. Uh, it came out of nowhere. You know, it was mm-hmm. a blessing in disguise, and uh, I'm just so grateful to have the opportunity to be in Frisco. I'm just I'm just fired up. So. Uh, it did come out of nowhere, but uh, like I said, I'm blessed and ready to go. So, offensive good. line is is kind of a, a legacy here in Dallas, uh, you know, especially I mean forever, but especially over the last decade with guys like Tyron Smith, Zach Martin. Uh, for any fans listening that appreciate offensive line play, what what are your strengths? What do you like to do um, on the field? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, growing growing up and at Marshall and stuff, we watched a lot of Tyron Smith. Um, cut ups and tape, and I love the way he plays. Uh, you know, I, I think I have a little inkling of him in me. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have long oh, arms. Really? I get, get my arms on uh, hands on people really quick and fast. Uh, in the pass pro, I have great feet. Um, and, and on the run game, I'm just fast, and physical, physical, and nasty. Uh, you know, and that, that's some traits that I think I see in myself, uh, along with Tyron Smith. And you know, I, I really crafted my game around him uh, wow. growing up and just watching a lot of film, like I said. And, uh, again, just fired up to get down there and uh, show them what I have. So. Hey, Josh, how much do you weigh in right now? Um, last week I weighed in at about 314. Okay. okay. So that's that's a little bit heavier than what you played at there this season. Am I correct about that? Yeah, my, my weight has fluctuated uh, up and down in the past couple uh, years, uh, two years, um, but they're both different seasons. But uh, I feel comfortable where what I'm at right now. Um, but it is a little heavier than what I did play in 2020. Season. Absolutely. Josh, thanks so much for spending some time with no, us. No, no. Congratulations. Some more questions, we man. look forward to watching you Ryan, on the field brothers. soon. Ask about his knee bend. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Go Cowboys. Here go he Cowboys. Goes. First, go cow- Cowboys on the air. I like that, adding it in at the end of the phone call. Josh Ball out of partial <laughs> offensive tackle. Let's catch you up on a couple of picks. Hey, here's what I took away from the interview. Let me let me pause them right quick. Really appreciate them for, for getting him on the clock and on the phone and these sorts. Uh, he did a self-evaluation of himself, which you rarely hear that from players in general and collectively speaking. He said he got great feet work. Y- y'all hear that? <laughs> he said he got great footwork, so or his great feet, what have you. And he said that he kind of modeled his game after um, – uh, Tyron Smith, and he said he's good. He's aggressive on the run. So I got to go back and look at the tape, and he did say he is now 314. He played lighter than that, which uh, that was one of the dings on his scouting report, according to the boys that were just talking. Um, 
So my thing is, if he had that mindset to say, okay, all right, I modeled my game after Tyron Smith. I get a chance to work out with Tyron Smith. I'm, I want to be as, as aggressive as Ty, Tyron Smith. And he did say, go Cowboys at the end. He heard and already spoke with the coach, Joe Philbin. So my thing is, when he go to this program called the Dallas Cowboys, will he be ready? Can he look at it and say, man, Brandon Knight, you ain't nobody. You're a guard anyway, so get out of my way. Uh, if you look at the Thai kid and say, okay, yeah, man, you've been here long enough, get out of my way, right? And if you look at Taryn Steele and say, man, hey, on the steel that I like is still reserved. That is to drink. Get out of my way. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to dominate on this line. If he have that type of mentality, man, hey, if he had that ball mentality, man, that would be kind of crazy for the Cowboys to pick him up, who their eyes say had as a top 100 talent, but due to the DV, that's domestic violence situation for the nation, he was dropped. He dropped on the board. So a lot of teams say, you know what, we ain't going to touch that, you know, because of the fact that you got all of those things that can go with this as a suspension and these sorts and just character situations. So let me know how you guys feel of the ball brother you know still reserved 211 yeah that's what i'm talking about <laughs> hey and still reserved will sneak up on you it's still, still reserved will sneak up on you so that's josh ball so he's part of the ball brothers baby you know shifting gears <laughs>